And we begin with breaking news in North Harris County where families have been displaced after a massive fire at an apartment complex right here. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Gutierrez. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Dominique Soxa is off tonight. The new video of the flames was provided to us by a viewer. The fire broke out at the Buena Vista Apartments on Bama Wood Drive. Our Jonathan Martinez is live for us now at the scene with the new details on the families that have been impacted by this. Jonathan, was anyone hurt? Guys, that fire was put out several hours ago, but if you take a look over my shoulder tonight, you can still see several firefighters are still out here trying to clear the scene and secure the building. In the end, nearly an entire building was destroyed. In all, four units are gone, several families displaced. Take a look at just how intense the fire was. Flames could be seen pouring out of the roof when the call came in around 6.30 this evening. We're told several firefighters from nearly a half a dozen agencies battled those flames, and they had to take a defensive approach early on because of the heat and intensity of the fire, but they were able to knock it down pretty quickly. We're told one firefighter suffered a heat-related injury and was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be okay. None of the residents at the apartments were hurt in the fire, but again, four units were destroyed. We spoke to residents tonight who saw the fire and people rushing into action to alert others. That was my main concern because I know a few people that live on this road and I didn't know if they were home or not, you know, so it was a lot of people knocking on doors, you know, trying to make sure everybody got out. When we came up and saw that, we were like heartbroken and devastated that they literally lost everything that they owned, you know, and it's just, that's sad. Back out here live, we're told the Red Cross has been called in to help out those families who have been displaced. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. We are reporting live tonight. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC 2 News. Jonathan, thank